as soon as I turn to this question, I know that it's a plug points into equations question. My favorite strategy because it is the most mindless strategy and it works in lots of cases. So the chart is giving me a bunch of points. The equations in the answers are just the equations that go with those points. There's no twist here, right? Notice the question. They're not saying that there's some manipulation to the equation, no translations or anything. It is just as is. So I would start with my laziest point, which is 0, 014. Um, normally, when I plug that in, it means that everything kind of disappears, right? A zero makes a lot of numbers go away. It, it makes the X's kind of gone. And so for each of them, the result would be 14. So that point sometimes helps me. In this case, it does not. So I would have still tried it, looked at it first, but it doesn't eliminate anything because every single one of these equations has a Y-intercept of 14. So we got to move on. Let's go to another point. What's the next laziest point? Well, it'd be the, the one, right? So don't add a negative. Maybe we don't need to. Now in this case, when I go through it, I'm not gonna use a calculator or anything because the number one, it doesn't eliminate um, the terms, but it kind of eliminates the variable and the exponent is not gonna affect it, right? So for choice A, three X squared, if the, the X were one, right? One squared is one, three times one is three. So what's gonna happen is just the coefficients are gonna matter. So three plus three plus 14, that is 20. So that checks out. Now that doesn't mean that's necessarily the right answer. Um, I have to check all the answer choices and, and be sure. So let's just continue. This would be five plus one plus 14. That's also 20, so there you go. This would be nine minus one plus 14. So nine minus one is eight. Eight plus 14 is 22, so that does not work. And then D would be one plus five plus 14. So there you go, that works too. So that's also 20. Now that doesn't surprise me. We're in the hard module. The SAT likes to do this even on easier questions where uh, a point is going to work in multiple equations. So we have to be really sure and just try every single choice. So the final step is then let's just do the final point, a negative one. And this will work, there's no doubt because we're out of points otherwise. So um, I'm gonna come down here and do A so that I have more space. So now you just gotta be really careful. If you have to write this out in more detail, go for it. Negative one squared is positive one. So this is three minus three plus 14. So that's 14 and it needs to be 10. So no, that does not work. Gets her to A. B, five is still positive, minus one plus 14. That's four plus 14, that's 18. So that doesn't work either. It's supposed to be 10. So hopefully it's D. That's gonna be one minus five plus 14, one minus five is negative four, negative four plus 14 is 10, so there is my proof. And I would have gone all the way through, even though I was kind of at a point where D had to be right, you know, it's possible I made an arithmetic error somewhere, right? So, you know, it doesn't take much longer to just try that last answer and just be sure you've got it. But um, this is about as straightforward as this plug points and new equations strategy gets. The, the goal is obviously to use it, but also to really train yourself to notice right away when you need to use it. It is the most important strategy on all parts of the math sections. Uh, it works in lots of cases, and so you wanna be able to basically read something, and you wanna treat this strategy like a dumb summary. If there's equations, if there's points without much thought, you're like, is there a way to mix them together? Is there a way to combine them? And that will get you started on most questions within just a few seconds. So it really does save time. Uh, the process may be tedious, but it's going to save you time in the long run because you'll, you don't have to stare at questions as long. So it's really important to just get the ball rolling on even things that look like this and look pretty hard.